Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone, I am Dr. D. Deepa from School of Computing, Department of CSC, uh, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Uh, today we are going to discuss about natural language processing. Uh, natural language processing, you know, how computer understand, how computers understand human languages. You know, how human computers are communicating with each other through their natural language. Uh, natural language usually refers to human way of communication. So, for example, Tamil people will communicate with Tamil, uh, Tamil people and uh, English members will talk with English and uh, Hindi people will talk with Hindi. That is, human can understand their own natural language. That is a full way of uh, communication in the sense, according to the uh, language they speak with, they will, the other people will reply. That is nothing but full way communication human understand their language and reply and this makes the special thing in human being and also make them as intelligent. Uh, now uh, through NLP what we are going to do is we are going to allow the computer to replicate as human do. Okay, before starting with what is the process with the NLP, uh, what is NLP? NLP stands for natural language processing and uh, it is the field of data science and artificial intelligence that allows how the computer uh, interact with the human being as like human being and it also comprises of uh, uh, all these categories of uh, computer uh, computer science uh, field like computer science human language and ai you know human language is natural language as the human being uh, speak with and computer science it has uh, many uh, computational algorithm and programs and ai it has many um, machine learning models and uh, a statistical model to define the data and what is the process in nlp nlp mainly comprises of three important steps one is speech recognition and natural language understanding and natural language generator. These are the three prime steps involved in uh, NLP. So, we will see each of the steps in detail and you know uh, NLP physically uh, involves with computational techniques, various computational techniques to analyze and understand human language. Uh, it divided into three separate parts as we saw in the figure. First step is speech recognition. Here what it, it is going to do is the normal um, uh, speaking of some uh, human being. It may be voice or it may be text that may be converted as mission readable language, as mission language. So that is the pre first step involved in uh, NLP. That is the computer must take natural language uh, either it may be speech or it may be text and convert it into machine readable language. Here in this step it mainly involves with hidden Markov model and which is very important technique involved in speech recognition step and it comprises of statistical model various statistical model and statistical analysis process to convert the uh, speech or text whatever we received uh, uh, from outside the system receiving from outside as their own language called machine language. Uh, mainly when we consider uh, uh, it takes a fraction of seconds to convert that speech into text. Mainly we can say that is 10 to 20 milliseconds it takes and uh, compare that received data and pre-process those speech or text and figure out the meaning or that is called phoneme, phoneme that is uh, the speaker use uh, speak with and uh, phonemes is nothing but a smallest unit of uh, speech. The program then examine the sequence of phonemes that you were speak, uh, spoke with the uh, system. And the second step is natural language understanding which is very important step in this natural language processing and also which is considered to be oddest, step, oddest uh, and um, difficult step to be performed in this uh, natural language processing mainly which understand the part of speech we spoke with and then um, it will identify what do the users say 
and their what are the intent what they want to know about and the meaning of the sentence what they uh, they are searching for all that will be considered and uh, depending on the input the pro the system will recognize it and do the processing that is nothing but natural language understanding here this natural language understanding will train the system to learn and to apply the rules correctly to identify the correct meaning of the sentence of the user and here in this step we lie with uh, four important uh, challenges first one is lexical ambiguity there it is uh, uh, it identify the proper vocabulary of the sentence uh, of each and every word uh, that received from outside uh, first that is considered to be the first and uh, premost step that computer must comprehend the meaning of each word in a sentence and the second challenge is syntactic ambiguity mainly refer the structure of the sentence that is it know the grammatical representation of the sentence and I uh, th think that this is what the sentence it will identify itself and then semantic ambiguity what is that semantic ambiguity it give the exact meaning of the given data and then pragmatic ambiguity this pragmatic pro ambiguity will tell the multiple interpretation of the uh, text we given okay the system will generate multiple interpreta interpretation for the same sentences so that is nothing but pragmatic ambiguity so these are the challenges that uh, the system has to be take over so that uh, it will give the proper information to the user and the last step is natural language generator and this natural language uh, generator is simple to accomplish and we can say it is the reverse of NLU in the sense it convert uh, that uh, machine readable language as the text which is which can be readable by the human so it is very easier to convert machine readable language as a text uh, by the system it will uh, convert the computer's machine readable language into text and, uh, and can also convert the text into audible speech sometimes for an uh, for example in Alexa it will give back the result as a speech also so that um, it will give both the text result as well as speech result using text to speech format or text to text format and in this step what we are going to do is what should the computer say to the user that can be identified and uh, uh, after analyzing those data, uh, the computer has to organize the structure of uh, the data it, has, it is going to say to you and this is similar uh, to the NLU as I told and uh, but in the backward process. Finally, it will convert the text into speech data uh, that is called uh, the speech engines will generate the speech uh, uh, data from the processed uh, data of uh, NLU the previous step okay and then the next topic we discuss with uh, this NLP is that what are the various tasks in NLP you know NLP has to uh, describe about the human languages which is filled with many ambiguities we discussed four kind of prime uh, ambiguities that make it incredibly difficult to write software accurately by the programmer and they they also find difficulty in determining the exact meaning of the data uh, or voice they want to find the meaning and you know some uh, speech may consist of homonyms homophones sarcasms idioms metaphors grammars and usage exceptions variations in sentence formatting also may, may be used by uh, many human being by different uh, way so this is uh, mainly very challenging for, for the human also they have to learn and uh, speak but the programmer must teach all these natural languages uh, driven applications to recognize and understand accurately uh, from the start if the application are going to be very much useful for the society they have to that system has to understand it properly main task of NLP is it will break down the human text or voice data in a way that a computer can understand so that is nothing but uh, um, purpose main purpose of NLP so that the system can uh, understand the concept and reply for you and some of the very important tasks done, done by the NLP are 
part of speech tagging uh, which is also called as grammatical tagging mainly this is the process of determining the parts of the speech uh, we can say that what are the noun and verb of a sentence can be identified with this task and second uh, task is that speech recognition speech recognition mainly as we saw in the first step of nlp it converts speech to text uh, which will uh, mainly help us to recognize the speech that follows the voice commands or we can also communicate, interact with the system. How the we can ask question to the system that will interact back to our us. Uh, uh, okay, so they can um, they, that may be any answer or spoken questions. Like uh, an example, Google Assistant, we use the speech recognition as an important task of Google Assistant. Now, uh, what is the main uh, challenge in this uh, part is that um, uh, there has to uh, that uh, Google Assistant has to tell the answer quickly, even it may be slurring words. It, the speech is uh, the speaker is giving slurring words or understandable communication is done means that uh, has to be identified properly by the system and have to give back the result. So the user can may be combined with many grammatical error also that also be identified by the system and the third task is word sense disambiguation so this is the selection of meaning you know that one sentence may have several meanings and from that the system has to select the correct uh, meaning of a word or a sentence that process is nothing but semantic analysis and that is done with word sense dis disambiguation task say for example uh, in the meaning of verb make uh, we have different sentences make the grade here the make refers achieve whereas make a bet is where the make refers place so the same word make different meaning in different sentences that needs to be identified properly and then uh, fourth uh, task is named entity recognition mainly this is uh, uh, used to identify the words or phrases in a sentence uh, for example kerala as a location say you have some sen kind of sentence where kerala will be identified as it has no meaning no it is it is now considered to be the location and also the name meenal meenal refers to some someone's name that will be identified properly with the uh, existing databases and the second uh, next task is that go reference the resolution is the task of identifying if and when two words refers the same entity and uh, for example you determine the person or object to which certain pronouns refers to for example we have used mary as some uh, in uh, in some essays where the she refers to mary that will be identified properly that is co-reference resolution she refers mary and then sentiment analysis it attempts to extract the subjective qualities like attitudes emotions sarcasms confusions suspicions in the text so that is uh, uh, the main sentient through sentiment analysis we can identify that is in uh, facebook or in uh, any social networking we use this kind of analysis and the next last one is natural language generation as we saw that is the last step in NLP which described the opposite of speech recognition that is the whatever the result the system found that will be given as a speech or a text as an output that is speech to text conversion will be done in this task. The next is application of natural language processing it is used in email filtering language translations, uh, smart assistance that converting one language to another, document analysis, online searches, predictive text in varied uh, documents, automatic summarization, social media monitoring in space, Facebook and Twittering, chatbots in eBay and uh, sentiment analysis. So these are the various main applications of NLP. The natural language processing mainly involved with this uh, kind of techniques, bag of words, TIF, IDF, tokenization, stuff words removal, stemming, laminatization, topic modeling, word embedding. Uh, so what is that? You know, it is uh, very easy. Bag of word, it consists of a huge volume of data that has to be processed by the system. And term frequency, inverse document frequency is, is, is a statistical model 
to find the important term in a document. Tokenization, converting sentence in asset tokens, stop words removal, it remove the unimportant uh, uh, things in from the sentence. And then stemming, stemming is process of reducing a word length. Laminatization is a text pre-processing technique, top modeling and word embedding. It, it is also uh, used to map the words uh, with as a numerical data. And then uh, conclusions, the main conclusion, what are the topics we discussed about, that is uh, what is NLP and process involved in NLP, various tasks of NLP, applications of NLP and techniques involved in NLP we discussed. And these are the references I took from the book and uh, various uh, links I, I took. And then thank you.